Hi, I'm Josh Olson, and this is Trailers from Hell. This is a particular thrill for me, this commentary, because it's the first time I've ever done one of these on a movie that I wrote, produced, directed, and starred in. Getting this movie made was an epic achievement on my part, but I have to say it makes me uncomfortable when people tell me what a hero I was. I'm talking, of course, about my undisputed masterpiece, Terry Gilliam's The Adventures of Baron Munchausen. From the director of Time Bandits and Brazil. Hieronymus Carl Friedrich von Munchausen was one of the great liars of all time. The whoppers he told were historic and became the stuff of legend. And they've spawned books and radio plays and games and movies, culminating in this, my absolute favorite Terry Gilliam movie and one of the great odes to imagination. I don't need to tell you that Terry Gilliam has made some amazing movies over the years, and everyone will tell you that Brazil is his masterpiece, and it probably is. But, God, this is just the one I love the most. Back in 1987, you couldn't go a week without hearing reports about how Gilliam's follow-up to Brazil was going over budget, falling apart, going insane, there were catastrophes on the set, plagues, famine, rats, God knows, everything. It felt like Apocalypse Now all over again, and in a way it was, because it too resulted in a masterpiece. The movie is a wild, sprawling tale that's a love letter to the imagination. John Neville gives an epic performance as the Baron. Eric Idle is wonderful. Uma Thurman makes one of her very first screen appearances as Venus, and she's breathtaking. Her husband, the god Vulcan, is played by Oliver Reed in full-on Oliver Reed mode. Just the little dance he does when he sees his beautiful wife is worth the price of admission. As is Eric Idle's response when Vulcan describes his greatest creation, the neutron bomb. And then there's Robin Williams, his inspired batshit performance as the King of the Moon, whose head keeps flying off his body, leaving his body behind as a sex-crazed id monster. It's unreal. It's a career highlight. So many filmmakers use special effects as a crutch, as a way of getting around the limitations of their imaginations. But Gilliam uses them the way an artist uses oils. The effects in this movie are astonishing. The movie is one that you can go back to time and time again and always find something new to enjoy. Thank mm -hmm. you.